Alright, next we're going to be working on, this is the carrier plate. This is what will mount to the rails. The carousel will mount off of this. Now, for this particular piece, we're going to be using Mic 6. Mic 6 is cast aluminum plate and it's dimensionally stable. It's nice and flat and so I don't have to worry about facing it and any unevenness uh, over such a large area. We're also going to be using Mic 6 on our back plate that our rails are going to mount to so that we can ensure that everything is nice, flat, and straight. It's a little added extra cost, but I think it's going to be worth it uh, in the long run. So now let's go over to the uh, Precision Matthews and we'll machine this out. It's not very difficult. Uh, we're just going to be drilling some holes, uh, boring some countersinks, then we're going to rotate it over and we're going to put a slot in the center for our air cylinder clearance. Alright, so let's go over to the Precision Matthews. Alright, so I've got my Mic 6 stock in the mill here we're just going to start the program we're going to be drilling some holes This Mic 6 machines a little bit differently and no need to do any kind of full retract pecking. You can just drill straight through there. Now we're going to machine the counter bore for these eight holes, 16 holes.
right, well that that's all the machining for the front side here. Now we're going to rotate it and we're going to be putting a pocket in here and this will give us clearance for our air cylinder. And then we've got three mounting holes from the back side that we've got to machine into here. So I'll get set up and we'll do that next. Okay, so I've got my stock flipped over and now I'm going to uh, bore, drill three holes and then we're going to do a counter bore. Then we're going to come back and we're going to do a, some adaptive here for a pocket. And this pocket will give us relief for the air cylinder. All right, so let's get started. inch end mill here. First time I've cut any of this Mike 6. It's quite a bit different than 6061 or 6511. It feels more dense. The material just feels heavier in your hand. Similar, similar to the uh, 7075.
like I have the retract set up for least amount. So you can see it's just kind of going back at the same speed and not really retracting to move over there to wrap it over. And I don't have it set up for both ways milling. Either one of those would probably speed up this time here, but that's something I can adjust in the G-code by machine multiple parts. There's a finished part. Turned out really good. Now this is just going to be clearance for the air cylinder. So we can keep everything nice and tight to the nice and tight to the the back plate. So this just gives us a little clearance there. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Now it's really not really anything complicated with this these machining operations, as you can see. Um, but I really like this Mike Six. I like the way it machines. Um, it's, it's a little bit different. It's not as uh, gummy, I guess, is a good term. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but you can see with the the chips, the chips are they're quite a bit different looking and the drilling operation it seems like it can take a little bit more or a lot more uh, feed rate and RPMs it, it really breaks chips pretty good alright so let's get it out and we'll take a look at it alright well that finishes up the carrier plate so the linear blocks will mount to this our clevis for our air cylinder will mount here uh, like so And, yeah, this will mount on the linear rail plate like that. And then we'll have our main hub is going to mount right here. Turned out pretty nice. It wasn't really that much machining, uh, very many machining operations, but... Uh, this Mic 6, I really enjoyed machining with that. I haven't used this before, um, but it, 
the material really feels more dense than regular 6061. I'm not sure if it is or not. Maybe it's just a feel. But the 775 feel, felt kind of different in your hands as well. So, so next up, we're going to be doing the uh, rail back plate. After that, we'll start kind of assembling this and uh, going from there. There's still a few things I have to work out. Sensors and the mounting bracket for the column, but that'll be coming forward in a in a future videos. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down below here. When I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can they'll send you a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.